Hey, welcome back to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name's Will. And um, the intro goes like this. Yeah, tell us. Um, hey, guys. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Really? Wow. This is your thing. Thanks. This is literally all you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, Kevin, roll me in one more time, bud. <sighs> Hey guys, welcome back to It Resolves. My name is Kevin. Mm, nope, I lost it. No, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, thanks for being here, tuning in, watching, or listening, doing it however you're doing it, where you're doing it. Um, as always, this show's brought to you by you. The patrons. The patrons. Uh, we have one new, bu- new person to thank. Did you say uh, new button at first? No, I was going to say new buddy. Oh, what are they going to be buddies? I like to think of my the, the patrons as buddies. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Because there are friends I'm, and they support us. I'm um, cool with that. I yeah. am fine thinking we have a bunch of friends out there somewhere. <laughs> it's nice to think that we have friends. Right. Um, and not just the two of us who just sit in a room and wait to re-record these episodes <laughs> and don't this exist. This is literally all we do. And we can't yeah. even intro it right. What do you mean that was picturesque? <laughs> in podcast school, that's how... In they, podcast school? Yeah, they're going to give that lesson one, 101, introing your podcast. Yeah. Do that, but always do that but always yeah. well then we, we <laughs> fucked up like 130 episodes up until oh, you're then. right cancel the show it's done <laughs> it's wrapped. the last episode how many times Curtains. have we joked about the last episode not in a while not as often I'll say. as we used yeah, to yeah yeah but, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not like armageddon no. in the studios right yeah, now yeah. but it's anyway uh, thanks to chase it's I my <laughs> mind immediately went to the to the I was credit card. If I could catch you off guard, you with definitely this. did. I'm immediately went to the to the credit card. Like oh, Chase, yeah, yeah. I was like, do we have a sponsor? <laughs> Chase credit card sponsor. Yeah. What, the, what? Why did they? No, want... no, 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 no. Okay, are you ready? Oh shit! Yeah. You have your word. Um. Yep. Okay. Thank you to Chase on Patreon. The squishy. The squishy. Chase the squishy. Chase. It was actually going to be in the indomitable yeah but squishy's way better it's just way more fun yeah, to it's say. exciting and you should i mean it evokes you a certain emotion you know Wh- a squishy emotion can you can you give me a little bit more ammo on what that emotion might be kev nope all right so <laughs> here's the deal guys um as you may uh may be able to tell uh this is going to be a much more relaxed episode of it resolves this is the last one of 2019 yeah Ooh, kevin has it. removed the seats with spikes we're here yeah just hanging out just hanging out we're drinking we're having a good time mm-hmm. we're not uh doing it on the stretchy rack this time we're just two regular dudes in seats how many other torture devices are you gonna be pulling out well so there's one is that... there one that you sit on and it like slowly splits you in half it's like holy a huge triangle. shit i didn't know that that's terrible that how is how okay no they like put how? weights on your leg why are we talking about this <laughs> we are so far off i mean this doesn't how have a heavy topic. are the weights i mean they're pretty heavy wouldn't your feet just fall off before you get split in no. half no there's no way. That's I promise a thing. you, that's a thing. Wow. Look it up while I tell the people what we're other than just reminiscing what we're doing today. So. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, do it, that do it, is do it, do it, so. Do it, do it. To to go into a little bit more detail, uh, we want to take a look back at 2019. I know that there is a lot of Theros spoilers coming out right now. We will be talking about that. We're very excited about the new Theros set. I will say too, but. We didn't want to do that this time. Right. Uh, we wanted to finish out the year with just a really fun episode where Will and I get to reminisce about all the cool stuff that it resolves and magic has done, all the great yeah, support yeah, yeah. from you guys, um, and maybe take a quick peek into 2020 and talk about the things that we are most excited about of the things that have been spoiled so far, uh, which yeah. is actually a lot. There's been a lot uh, to to be announced for 2020. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a good year. So, it should be fun. Uh, um, it's good. This going to be. We're going to laugh a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, just are you still looking that up? Because if so, I'm going to jump into the random card. Of the no, day. Yeah, we are still going to do this. You should do the random card because my my phone's just being a poop with the wifi oh, right hate now. When your phone's being a poop. It's fine. Man. Um, it's okay. Been that, it's been that random card of the day. <laughs> oh god. Wow, uh, that is just a <laughs> haunting image. <laughs> uh, this was like weirdly a good card back in the day. It's really bad now. Um, Obsanius golem i hope i'm saying that correctly i I have no idea uh it is six mana for an artifact creature that is a four six vanilla uh nothing too exciting gotta be honest this card kind of sucks nowadays can Um, you read that flavor text to me 
No, I can't. Oh, the foot stone is connected to the ankle stone. The ankle stone is connected to the leg stone. Song of the Artificer. Yeah, okay. The foot stone's connected to the ankle stone. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> What's wrong? Is this what artificers make in, like, the first yeah, grade? Yeah, they just make really haunting... <laughs> This is creepy. Today, kids, yeah. we're, we're going to make we're a sweet friend. That. What did you make, Tommy? My paralysis demon. <laughs> you all should go look it up. O-B-S. Help me out. I-A-N-U-S? Yeah. Golem? Obsi anus golem. Obsi anus? <laughs> it's like you have to explain to your German Man. dad where yeah. you lost your hamster. Obsi <laughs> yeah. anus. Obsi anus? <laughs> Oh my god, this is great. <laughs> this is fire mom left. Man, I love the, it's the not random why. card. Of it. This card sucks though, is the takeaway. Oh, it yeah, used to be okay sure, back in the day sure, when it was printed sure, because creatures sure. I forgot what we did on yeah. the show. No, um, but you're right. This was but, in hit me with that. Set, well it was originally maybe. an alpha. Uh oh. and it went through fourth edition. It was reprinted a number of times. Yeah, I'm sure it's like real good in alpha. Yeah. Well Well, the great thing about it is it enough. goes into any deck. And right. like back then, that was kind of the only prerequisite you needed to be yeah. a decent creature uh, and have some stats. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a beater. Um. But nowadays, pretty terrible. Yeah. Just Did we a mention cool it's accord. vanilla? It's just vanilla. Yeah, it is vanilla. Granted, it's creepy demon-eyed vanilla, but it's just yeah. vanilla. So. Nah, that's fine. It's fine. Man, this I don't one want to look sucks. at this the whole time though. Can you just spin me another random card Do you just want to, me to just I to can. make that one not stick in my head so much? Yeah. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Oh, Finale Thank of Promise. You. Well, Thank it's a good card. You. I'm not going to talk, talk about this card. It's just a good card. Finale of Promise. Yeah. It does stuff. There's a lot of text. I don't want to read it. Um, it's anyway, too much text. Let's jump into reminiscing of 2019. All right. What happened this year? Some stuff, man. Uh, no, I'm going to start remember. off because I actually wrote uh, just a short little reminiscing article uh, that I released on our website. It resolves MTG.com. Go check that out. That's impressive. Um, I think I thanked you in it um did you Who? i'm sorry you me specifically what you for i don't know why why would you if thank i'm honest me? i don't remember why i did um oh but yeah i think it's in there anyway um basically <laughs> all right uh, basically like i took a look back at like uh, so it's no surprise i kind of p- took a quick peek behind the curtain which we've talked about before to uh, that Will and I usually set goals for the end of the year and things like that. Um, specifically with like our subscriber count, our follower count, things like that, interaction, all that kind of stuff. And we, except for Twitter, surpassed those goals excessively. What are you looking at? Are you looking at this torture thing? It's Did called you finally the get Spanish it? donkey. I told you it's a thing. Here's the thing though, Kev. Here's the thing though. Yeah. It doesn't cut you in half. But I almost wish it did, because it's a little bit just worse. Because, do you know why, Kev? We can't talk about this on this podcast. No, we can't. We this can't. is not the right kids, podcast. Kids, don't <laughs> Google that. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're gonna. But <laughs> Well, okay, but like, I retroactively warned you not to. Okay, so, that's fair. So, dang it. That's not Yeah, dude, us. torture devices back in the olden days, they were some messed up shit. Man, they even had like the malaria stuff going on, yeah. the Black Death stuff going Black on. Death. I'd rather just catch that, honestly. Yeah, honestly. Make it quick. So anyway, back to the goals. Um, shit, right. We wanted to meet. So we, <laughs> we set goals specifically for YouTube, Instagram, and yep. Twitter. Yeah. Twitter was a bit of a shot in the dark because honestly, we don't do that much on Twitter. Yeah. I kind of hate Twitter. We don't know how to tweet stuff. I, I mean, don't hate Twitter. I just don't like using. Twitter. I don't really like using it. I've been using it more because we got Hootsuite to like manage the social media right, stuff, right, so right, it's right. easier to post everything. But like, it's really annoying. If you hear a dog barking, it's because there's a dog barking. By the way, um, yeah, the floor here is made of floor. It, that's a mean. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. If uh, know that. Uh, anyway, my pleasure. <laughs> um, so we didn't meet our goal of like 300 Twitter followers. Right. Oh no, terrible. Um, but yeah. Uh, our goals on Instagram and YouTube were like way, way beyond. Yeah, dude, they blew uh, up. We like, yeah, we far, Ex- far exceeded they those. Ex- exploded. Um, we had a lot of awesome support and a lot of awesome surprises come along the way yeah. over the last like year. Um, so that's very true. A lot of the giveaways blew up more than we thought they would. Yeah. Um, and we, I mean, we're noticing trends about doing that, which obviously we're 
going to hopefully account for in 2020 and stuff. But like, there's certainly a trend with it all. And it's really interesting to see like when these giveaways take place matters so much. Yeah. Um, but regardless, we really love the, doing the giveaways for multiple reasons. And yes, some selfishly because it does help grow our stuff, obviously. But I'll also say it's a great way for us to genuinely give back a physical, tangible product yeah, to it's cool. anybody. It's like, cool. It's a really fun thing to do. And it's like... Definitely. I, every once in a while, this doesn't happen every single time, but every once in a while, somebody will like post, whoever wins will like post, you know, their opening or post their yeah. whatever. And it's actually really, really fun because they usually tag us in it. We get to like comment back and be like, dude, thanks so much for the support. We, we love it. It's awesome. Yeah. And it's like, it builds and fosters that like giving out of awesome stuff, you know, to the community and that kind of a thing. It's just, it's a great way to build it up. Yeah. And so really like, cool. it's a great way for us to give back to you guys. So thank you, I will say. Uh, for not only the great support, but also, you know, helping so the, the channel grow and get to where we are and do all that kind of stuff because, yeah. uh, we couldn't have done it without you guys. I yep. mean, obviously we yeah, don't yeah. exist without you guys. So, or do we, well, we could, but it wouldn't be, it'd very be really exciting. strange. It'd be very strange. So, uh, um, we'd just be two dudes in a room <laughs> talking about magic, but like, good thing we're not that. <laughs> Well, but <laughs> but there's an assumed audience on the yeah, other end. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like someone will eventually hear this. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, without that, yeah, um, what do we become? Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, also, yeah, we had our first like I I, I won't say big blow up on videos because we've had a couple videos hit a few thousand views, which is great for us given our size. It was um, yeah, we had the they don't have to know about our size. Okay. Our what? Nothing. Keep going. Then we'll have to know about our what? Keep talking. No, I really want to know. It um, was a poorly timed penile reference. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Um, anyway, no, we uh, we had our first video hit over 5,000 views uh, as of this week, which was Oof, the secret yeah, layer opening. Yeah, it's um, cool. We got very fortunate uh, because there were a lot of shipping errors with that, but we fortunately got it very early and were able to get a video up. Certainly appreciate you guys uh, checking that out. But, Will, I got to ask. Yeah, dog? Are you still looking up torture devices? Uh, Put the, down. Um, okay. Can you so, just close it? Because I keep reading the words breast <laughs> ripper and it's making me uncomfy. <laughs> I got to ask. Yeah, bud. What, what was the highlight of your 2019? Hmm. Do you, okay. Do you want to talk like it resolves or like magic as a whole or just me in general, like my life? Let's do. What are you asking? Let's start with it resolves. Okay. We'll go to uh, magic as a whole later. Okay. And then we'll jump into just our personal stuff okay. when we uh, wrap up and all that stuff. Cool. So, uh, really for it, for it resolves, it was, um, the, like when we first started introducing some Patreon stuff, yeah, and just left and right, whoop, 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 oh my boom, gosh. bam, yeah. In like a couple weeks, there mm -hmm. were I think eighty some odd of you, yeah. Which I mean, well, I remember going from like the first episode where we started thanking people, yeah. to, it was like thirty, which was right. amazing because we right. had just released it, yeah. And then all of a sudden, by the next time, it was like eighty or something, and it we were nuts. like, oh shit, like yeah. we're not we got to keep up with all this. Like, right. It was really cool. It yeah. was really cool. Um, so that was like, weirdly, I'll, I'll say like humbling in a way. Yeah. Um, I think is the word I want to use. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's what creators say at this point, but it was surreal. <laughs> might be the better one. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, because I'm assuming, and that is a big assumption and you know what happens when you do that. Yeah. You get egg on your face, but, um, got the egg ready shit well, <laughs> back that up <laughs> no but I, I i think like with patreon support there comes like people actually listening too yeah. Yeah, yeah. and we always i mean we have a, a ton of lifetime plays that's i'm yeah. not saying you know this is falling on deaf ears or anything but but that i mean that gave me more tangible like people yeah you know because yeah, yeah. it's one thing to look at <clears throat> Where we host our, our, the link that you need to have for podcasts. Yeah. The RNS, is that it? I forget. Whatever. RSS feeds. That's it. That's the one. So you can track it on various websites, how many yeah. views and listens you get there. But to have them like named for you exactly. is different. So like. It becomes personal. A yeah. Bit it was cool. Like yeah. 
I almost remember some of your names. <laughs> I remember a number of you. Oreo yo. Um, hey, I'm looking yes. at you. He came back. Uh, I don't think he like stopped. Hey, per- and then he's, came back or something like that. But it was literally heart, for like man. a week, I think. So it didn't even like matter or anything. But we were just happy to have him, obviously. But like, um, yeah, that was really it. I mean, seeing like having names to an audience's yeah. face was cool. Yes, I think. Well, so speaking to that, yeah. um, so. Uh, I, I don't think this is a surprise. The The proxy cars that we make, um, I tend to just kind of sit down and design some stuff up. And then yeah. we print, we outsource the printing. I've answered that question on a number of platforms. But um, we, it, it was nice for me on a personal note yeah. to see that people <clears throat> were interested in these proxies. And I just want to get... Because it is like something you made. Yeah, it is something I made. It's not fair for me to take full credit obviously the art remains with the I mean, artist sure, i just want to point out like dog. we're not trying to infringe on copyright or anything like that we actually had a couple people on instagram who were like you're basically selling these and i'm like look i understand your thought process we, so i'm yeah. not trying to get mad at you but like but let's the, the dissuade idea, that for a second so that- i'll go ahead and say the idea yeah. here is just to have some kind of tangible thing to give mm-hmm. away to the people that support us because it's the reality more personal yeah know? the reality is like uh, and this is just kind of on a personal note like yeah. i don't really like the idea of asking people for money if i'm not giving them anything in return sure and so like if yeah some people can argue like a new video kind you know like a new video stream would be something that you're giving back and stuff and I i'm guess, like yeah but how but like self-absorbed you have to be to thing. think like, i'm like i don't necessarily think that you all care as much you know what i mean like i don't I, I would love for you to, and I certainly hope you yeah. do, but like, obviously, you know, I feel like that's a little bit of a conceited mentality. Yeah. And so, might be a little on the nose. Well, you know, yeah. Well, maybe. Uh, and so, for me, it, it feels much more genuine to be able to say, here is this actual <laughs> tangible thing that you're getting on a monthly right. basis, which is what you're, you know, providing to us. And it's something in return. And like, that, that feels so much better to me. Uh, mm. And so, that really is the goal behind these these proxies i mean yes we are covering our costs and doing the best we can to stay afloat with that kind of a thing and all of that money gets reinvested i will say but like yeah it's all it's really just to give a tangible something back um so yeah i understand the thought that like you know it looks like we're just selling them i get that but it's not that's certainly not the intention i'll I'll speak on that just for a second please do why not um we were pretty like in the beginning very careful about the legality of everything so yeah. like don't you worry you're sweet ass over there <laughs> you salty boy yeah we really did some research to try and make sure we were in the the clear here so yeah just because we don't want to take credit away from the correct people like no. the mana symbols don't belong like, to us and correct like, me if i'm wrong yeah the artist is on every proxy oh yeah, yeah. Ever the artist the art. has is always on and the later proxies other than the dark frame proxies have you know clearly this is for proxy use only or some right. kind of thing like that just to right. denote like if you for some reason couldn't tell already <laughs> that it's right. clearly a proxy yeah um so the the use is solely just for casual play and stuff like that that's casual why we have a bit of a focus on commander pimp out a, yeah, a sweet cash deck it's just a little fun. kitchen tape deck you know <laughs> you know kt deck i use them because i always keep so for anybody that doesn't know i keep a play set of all the proxies that we ordered just mm-hmm. because you know i made them it's a pride why thing. Not? yeah yeah um i also usually keep one copy of every card extra for the cube oh yeah Um, that's a that's a that's a sexy cube yeah so will and i like to play cube a good bit my friend nathaniel who will met it's my favorite shape yeah (laughs) he and i um cubes we'll go back (laughs) we'll sit down and play cube a little bit as well it's the only shape with a temperature so it's pretty cool oh my god anyway (laughs) it's a really fun time to like see these cards that you know I, certainly i didn't create the artwork in general but Correct, i made but the frame and did that kind of thing and so yeah. it's nice to see that in like a an actual casual setting like it's just yeah. fun it's great um so thank you to everybody that supports on patreon i was going to point that out as well as one of my highlights because mm-hmm. that happened in such a weird way because yeah i literally sat down i was like it'd be really fun to make a proxy so i just made one like out of yeah you know just to be fun and i was like oh, i'd be cool if i Who did was this weird first thing. was it a Traxa? uh elish norn that's right which i did incorrectly and i've kept yep the print, yep that's right um because i did the wrong mana that's cost right. on it uh but yeah it was just silly but uh i thought that like 
I, I just thought it would be a fun thing to do. Like the intention was never to sell them. It was never to do anything like that. It was literally yeah. just to like make something cool and maybe get them printed just for personal use, like for the cube. Right. Um, and then everybody was like on Instagram, we posted it and everyone was like, oh my God, like I would love to buy one. I want one. that. And I'm How like, do well, I we get can't that? sell we them. We can't. Yeah. Uh, Cause a lot of people did inquire and I was like before this is before Patreon. I was like, we can't sell them right. like we we just can't like that's gonna hit it resolves in a bad way clearly I mean, for not sure. for the best you know like legally that's not the right mm-hmm. thing to do and so we very adamantly were saying no we're not gonna sell them um right i did offer for a short time i offered a few up for trade before we like found out you know maybe we could do this through patreon um i was like there's i can trade them i guess and then people like yeah. a few people came back and they were really stoked about it they were like yeah here's my trade binder and then a few other people were like you're asking me to trade real cards for fake cards and i'm right. like yeah i get it like i'm not i don't know a better solution you know right, what i mean right right and so i i felt really bad because a lot of people did reach out and then finally we found you know patreon as a the bit answer, of a solution yeah the holy grail use it as a tangible reward like it worked out perfectly sure. so we were really excited when that worked out and it's it's been phenomenal the support we've had on patreon is astounding yeah um, it's really cool it is um i mean we hope to grow it of course we hope yeah to of course widen that audience deepen that trench just get all in there that's the plan and we do have some new things potentially coming out for 2020 um yeah. we still have logistics to figure out on some of it but we're gonna work on it we always <clears throat> yeah we do. um and then for for those of you who are patrons uh in the month of december I'm, we're thinking we're going to do something a little special for you guys. Just, just get ready. We're not saying also, what it is. Also, maybe let us know you have a, if you have a gluten allergy. Yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm just going to tickle that It'd in It'd be there. helpful. It'd be helpful to know. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it now? <laughs> um, no. Nah, we, we is that in stuff. reference to anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> Correct. Um, I'll also <laughs> say uh, we hit a few like pretty big milestones uh, yeah, throughout this year that have been great. Uh, I know I've talked to numbers. That's kind of my thing um but we we breached the five thousand mark on instagram which feels amazing Whoop. um Whoop. we're very very near uh podcast listens we're very near uh ten thousand, which is great um yeah that's really cool we're getting pretty me. close on that we did have a record month uh in november i believe uh where we had well, well over hey 500 now, that's pretty neat that was, was just awesome. last month i know it was just yesterday was it, feels crazy. Like. it was like 18 days ago um yeah I that was a smooth. I knew it was eighteen days, which never that. happens. Uh, anyway, well, yeah, that's not a thing they quiz you on. No, but I'm just they saying. Don't, like, normally, when you, we pre-record when you into a work, little bit, like, hey, when was <laughs> when we pre-record a little bit, I always yeah. get mixed up, and then I'm like, not eighteen. Anyway, well, yeah, I felt good about that. Nice. Dude, just, Christmas is next week, dude. Isn't it insane? That's stupid. I didn't get you a Christmas present. I get you Christmas present. <laughs> I need to get you this something. year. Yeah, you've got me stuff in the past. I've gotten you stuff in the past. We need to do something. Shit. What do I get you? Can we just do a video gift exchange that we put on YouTube? And it has to be like something really just god awful. Oh, well, I know exactly what it is. I then. would love to give you my sea urchin. And it's just just a sea urchin. <laughs> do you have one? I can get one. <laughs> no, you can't. How much you want to bet? My gift. <laughs> to you. <laughs> Yeah, bet. So, done. Shit, yeah, done. I really want to find you a sea urchin now. Yeah, it's on the table now. It's right. recorded. Well, I guess this isn't out yet. But... No, it's not out yet. I'm going to cut this out. Um, no, I'm just kidding. You've never... We've never edited a podcast episode. No, we before. haven't. That's true. We, we had to re-record, I think, once. Yeah, because something screwy happened. Do you remember how terrible we felt after yeah, that? Yeah, because it was like in the beginning, right? Yeah, and this but was we after didn't a, know. Right, but this was after a chain of episodes. Yeah, yeah. When we used to record three in a day, like... Fuck us. We were fucking we were idiots. idiots. <laughs> we must have hated ourselves back then. I'm glad we love ourselves now. We sat down together. <laughs> how could we both grow to loathe the game Magic the Gathering and hate each other and ourselves a little bit more? <laughs> What if what if we talked into a mic for three hours about formats we don't play? Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Here's Will, the poor boy, talking about vintage. <laughs> this cardboard is worth more than my life. Um, <laughs> so it's really cool if you have the cards. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Anyway. Yeah, we made a lot of bad decisions in the early in the early game there. Yeah. And we will continue to yeah, make I mean, bad definitely. decisions. Get the- on just get on board <laughs> for that. Me. The, the kind of cool thing about this, though, is like it gives us an outlet to just do whatever we want. 
in relation yes. to magic it's like we can do literally whatever we want and I like sh- yeah that's true i'll just go ahead and preface we are not experts so like anything no. we say should be taken with a grain of salt but a grain how about just a fucking pillar <laughs> But <laughs> it's very, very fun for us to sit down and talk about this. And first and foremost, the goal yeah. of us, of, of It Resolves, yeah, 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 yeah. is yes, to be informative, but it's really just to be fun and like have a good time playing oh, magic. Sure. Like oh, that's, sure. that's, that's the whole if thing. You can't do, if you can't do it for fun. Yeah. If you're making, okay, this goes for anybody out there who's yeah, got ears, it. ears to hear. Do give it, me, do your, it, do it, do give it. me your ears, my countrymen and women's. Uh, if you're nice making catch. content about a game. <laughs> yeah. And you're not having fun. Stop immediately, dude. It's okay. about a game. I want to talk about. I'm I'm gonna really like call this is well, not like this matters because we're a small YouTube channel. But are you gonna call someone out? Yeah. yeah. Hell yes. I never oh, yes, do this. Yes. Yes. I yes, never yes, do yes, this. Yes. I'm here for. Oh shit. I keep <laughs> hitting the mic. Smack the fuck out of the mic. Um. Okay. All right, but I'm here for all of it. Whatever it is. So. As you guys know, Mm. I'm not calling this in. I'm calling somebody out. It's not the person I'm first going to talk about. As we all know, Reed Duke. Yes. Notoriously fine fellow of magic. Yes. Was recently inducted into the Hall of Fame. He was the only one Uh, of 2019. Congrats. Congrats. I think we called him out earlier. But thank you. uh, Congratulations to him. And thank you genuinely to him for all of the stuff that he's done for the community. Yeah. He's a truly just great. What a, a from what it sounds like i don't gentleman. know him personally so i guess it's not completely fair yeah for what me if he's just at home like stapling yeah, kittens like, to walls fuck just it resolves <laughs> like pieces of shit um anyway. wow a th- way to make that <laughs> intensely personal but yeah, continue right. um but he's done a lot of awesome things for the game yeah. for sportsmanship in general and just yeah, being yeah, a kind you know sure. decent player all the way around so congratulations to him he did recently apologize on Twitter. Okay. Uh, for Owen Turtenwald, one of his teammates from mm-hmm. Peach Garden Oath, yeah. uh, and he and William Huey Jensen, yeah, yeah. and Reed were all in a team. Uh, Owen Turtenwald had some recent issues. Uh, I don't know if it was necessarily alcohol abuse or something like that, oh, but no. he he had issues with some some kind of abuse of you know in in take sure, of sure, whatever, sure, 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 sure. and then also had. Uh, I think it was pointed out that he was a little bit aggressive towards uh, women and things like that. Okay. Um, which is certainly not good. There is not a pass for that. He was, you know, if that's the case, which I don't know details, that's in the wrong. I'm confused yet. But yeah. yes, continue. I, there's a whole backstory to this. Okay. Uh, Reed initially made an, uh, made a uh, a statement on Twitter. Okay. Gotta love Twitter. Uh, that was just saying, you know, I support my friend and all that stuff. Obviously, it doesn't excuse his actions, um, and certainly time will tell if he can get his act together. That kind of a thing. Okay. I'm paraphrasing, obviously. Um, okay. But he was basically saying, I'm going to support my friend, and I hope he does well. Uh, which I didn't... I thought that that was a good response. Like, the way he had worded it and everything like that, it held Owen accountable, but it also said, I'm going to support my friend no matter what, that kind of a thing. So okay. I was like, cool, I'm in. Like, good. <clears throat> Some people apparently thought that he should have like said something more i don't know what but apparently people were demanding an apology so he on twitter a couple weeks later was like yeah i apologize for this but i'm still going to support my friend and all this stuff that caused apparently an issue with mtg lion i don't like mtg lion i do you know mtg lion I have watched one video okay. by so, MTG Lion. If you guys don't know who MTG Lion is, he's a really... I actually used to watch his videos. I'll be yeah, honest. Yeah, I know his name from you, I think. Yeah, I used to watch his videos because he was kind of like... I I felt he was kind of an in-between mediator between the like White Knight crowd and the okay. like MTG headquarters crowd, <laughs> if that oh, makes sense. Oh, Christ. He okay. was kind of an in-the-middle is what I felt at that time. Um i've recently discovered i feel very differently um okay he was basically like reed just rolled over like if they can get this most you know high prestige pro player to roll over if the community can do that to him like this community sucks he was like calling out all this stuff and i'm just like dude what are you talking about you're reading way too much into this so i i watched that video like a week ago and i was just like this is ridiculous so I'm just, I, I don't know where I was going with this other than I love Reed Duke and MTG Lions sucks dick, 
but all right that's my thing Kevin. yeah i never call anybody out sorry if i segment our audience off of that but you know interesting um i'm just gonna yeah are you looking up the tweet no i'm looking up all the story yeah there's a weird like back and forth about it um but i just felt like it was uncalled for like I... why did you need to write this art or why did you need to put this video out it doesn't it doesn't serve a purpose other than to call somebody out for something that I don't necessarily think was needed to call them out on. Like he made an apology. Who cares? Okay. That's fine. I'm going to say a few things. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, I did not think we were going to get into this by the way. Oh Christ. We might as well. Um, so I say Christ a lot for an atheist, whatever. Fuck it. Um, okay. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) How do I want to begin? All right. Please here's begin. here's how we'll start. Here's how we'll yeah. start. Uh, I'm going to kind of reverse osmosis this garbage. Okay. Um, MTG, also, it's fair yeah. to say I don't know 100% of the details. So right. So that's I'm the thing. I'm basing that off of my limited knowledge. Let me so say, I do want to point that let out. Let me just throw that out there. This is literally the first. Kevin, you are, this is, you are breaking news to me. Which is amazing because this was like weeks ago. A week ago. According week to this ago, according internet to that I found. MTG Lions video, yeah. Excuse me. Um, so I didn't know anything. I and I just read some headlines about Owen. Yeah. Um, so I don't know enough of his story. Yeah, yeah. I um, don't know much about Owen's story. I just know Reed's so side of things on this. Yeah, here's what I would say. Yeah. Um uh, because I'm not like I don't want to speculate on what Owen did or said, but Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, the ra- here so it the range is a lot. It's encompassing a lot. Yeah. But about every point on that range pretty much sucks so (laughs) (laughs) like um depending on some circumstance and like what happened i'll say this magic pulled owen from a tournament yes uh, they did so that's like big enough at least to say like there's some validity to all this and it was oh yeah yeah, you know um so that's important for me like in a big way okay um i the would under I like I one hundred percent would understand if Reed is like, you know, because Reed no has known this dude forever. Yeah, has they've like, been like lifelong friends. Yeah, kind of grown up thing. like well, the, the, as long as Magic has been around, they've been around playing together. Yeah. So like they, um, and Owens had like quite a tumultuous past. Um, oh yeah, regarding some personal stuff that like is none of my business. If you want to find out, it's on the internet. I guess some of it. So look it up. But. Uh, and Reed's been there for him and, and with him there. Um, uh, Huey is, I mean, all the same, has been there and all yeah. that. I'd be interested to know what he says. Um, and so I understand the feeling of, like, wanting to back your dude that's that's been with you forever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's your ride or die. Yeah. I, get, I get that. Um, there are certain things, I think, that are inexcusable. And uh, while you can feel, like, intense amounts of regret and i think um like understanding and acknowledgement in someone's heart and like Mm. no like this isn't a bad dude even though this bad thing he did because we're all like mixed bags right we all do shitty shitty things sometimes um the range is pretty pretty vast on that i think some people do shittier things yeah of course um you know looking at you the inventor of the mcrib but anyway uh (laughs) <laughs> but but honestly so i understand that yeah um but that being said uh sexual abuse um uh just really like sexist culture mm-hmm. um the kind of like gatekeeping that has happened in the magic yes sphere for like the past two years yes is really just getting fucking old yeah honestly it is um there was even before that there was the um star city games people like a few of them got fired a few of them got moved around because of some things that happened with interns and all that stuff yeah and yeah. these are people that put on tournaments that like pay prize money out give actual like uh points to people yeah. right yeah, yeah so this is clearly at least something that's a problem in our community like we have yes. to acknowledge that so knowing that I would never want a game that's for, you know, ages 13 and up to yes. be a breeding pool 
or a place that that kind of behavior is tolerated in any way, uh, it's got no place in the modern modern era, guys. It just yeah. doesn't. No, you're right. It just doesn't. So I, on the one hand, I get Reed's stance totally. I don't think he owed anybody an apology. I'll say that. And that's where the controversy with yeah. MCG Lion came yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, fuck that cat dude for a second. Yeah. But like, I... That's where my issue is. So, can I read you the tweet? Yeah, dude. That Reed Duke actually sent out. So, this was his initial. We're so rambly. At it this happened. Point, it's yeah, news. It Fuck it, it. Just say it. So, this is our show. We do what we want. Yeah, here. exactly. Uh, this was in response to Owen Turtenwald. I do not know. <laughs> Sorry. Spillage. Uh, I don't know. Owen did post a tweet. Uh, uh-huh. I don't know exactly what it said, but I'm sure, you know, it was. It was something about him saying, I'm deeply sorry. Uh, I do see that. But uh, okay. Owen, re- or excuse me, Reed Duke replied specifically to Owen and said, true healing will come from actions rather than words. In the last 11 months, I've watched Owen make great strides in becoming a healthier person. I believe in my friend's ability to better himself and become a positive influence on those around him. Okay. That was his response to Owen on Twitter, you know, responding to all Read the that one more time. True healing will come from actions rather than words. Yeah. In the last 11 months, I've watched Owen make great strides in becoming a healthier person. I believe in my friend's ability to better himself and become a positive influence on those around him. All right. I know you take issue with the last sentence. I don't. I don't. That sounds really good to me. Okay. I I was thinking you were going to take issue with so my that's my thing. Like uh-huh. first of all, Reed didn't have to say anything. R- like he could have very easily just not said anything and that's just true. like liked the tweet and then been done. You know what I mean? Like true. he didn't have true. to go out of his way to say anything. He did go out of his way to say something. I yeah, think it I was think very well stand stated. Your friend, you never want some you like you never want your friend somebody you care about to feel alone right. no matter what they did. I exactly. get that. Exactly. Um there i'm trying to find the tweet that he okay so here's this this is it this is the tweet that he then i i guess mtg lion views as he was forced into saying and did okay i'm sorry for causing pain with the things i've said i'm also sorry for what i haven't said which i now realize can be just as serious the truth is the truth excuse me is that the way owen treated people was wrong and that point is well understood between him and me any support I offer him is for the sake of the better person that I know he can be and not to defend the conduct of his worst moments. I want MTG to be connected with safe places where everyone can feel welcome. I still want to be a resource for my friend to work through a terrible chapter of his life, but I also care deeply about our community and recognize my choices have not been conductive uh, to healing. I'm sorry that I haven't always put the community first this past year. Which okay. is like... No, okay. Here's... I mean... He's definitely right. I will say that. So it's, this is a very, and this is really funny. Too straight. How did we get here? I don't know, man. I'm sorry. It's fine. Just roll the ball down the hill. Let's go on anyway. It's got enough traction, baby. It'd be awkward to stop now. Um, (laughs) Let's open those packs. Just kidding. So (laughs) it's, okay. Um, What was I going to say? Hold on. (laughs) Hold on. It's going to come back. It's going to hit me in the face. It's going to, okay. Yeah, there it is. So, um, Glad I hit you in the face. It's really tricky. Uh, it's really hard. Oh, and it's ironic that like two straight white dudes are going to talk about sexual harassment of women. Um, but fuck it, here we are. So, <laughs> um, let me shine up my knight armor, I guess, real quick. There you go. But whatever, my ethereal armor. Tap oh, one. Listening in white. Tap one white. Yeah. And, and and bring it on. Um, white knight's too white, by the way. <laughs> Like the card, but I'm thinking ethereal armor. Oh no, it's one colorless, one white in it. No ethereal armor. Word. Ethereal armor is one white. The white knight card is, is two, two white. white. Right. That's what I was. Talking. So there are so many statistics. You can look it up. It's a statistic. Uh, so many unreported cases of sexual harassment, oh, yeah. sexual assault, sexual blah, blah blah blah. One of the major reasons most women don't come forward is because they don't get support, don't garner support. Yeah. Because what happens? every single time inevitably is prove it is all right did that happen is no not that dude he's a good guy yeah so for actual good guy reed duke to say like you know i support my friend blah 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 all this good stuff like it is demoralizing for anyone who has felt harassment again this is hypothetically that it is all true but then there it goes that's an example of doing that (laughs) But I digress. Like, 
that is a huge like demoralizing moment for anyone who would want to come forward and say yes. like this is a problem that happened. Yeah. So it's really I Reed is right in saying that my actions haven't been like pro healing. Like that's valid. Sure. You know. But I don't think so and I'm fine with him responding to that. What I, my issue is mtg lions take on it is that he's rolling over and becoming this like he's this really pro level yeah. hall of famer that now rolled over on his back because the community forced him to and all that stuff and it's like well no reed's right and reed's right in saying that like i don't think that there's an issue i don't think i don't necessarily think that the apology was as necessary as some people probably think um, that being said yeah. i understand where you're coming from i get i've not been in that situation Mm -hmm. so i don't know what that feels like so like it's not fair for me to say that somebody else doesn't feel attacked by that kind of a thing or doesn't feel threatened by it like i i I understand that argument and i certainly understand reed wanting to go out of his way to apologize for it so i'm i'm with it i i think that he didn't even have to initially respond to owen which would have caused all that but you know sure and so like i think he was just going out of his way to show his goal uh, my guess is because again i'm not reed but my guess is he was just trying to show support to his friend while Mm -hmm. also holding him accountable holding his friend accountable for the actions that he took i thought that his tweet handled that okay it was a short tweet but it kind of made the point I also, again, I see your point of maybe yeah. there should be an apology there. I get it. But, like, I, either way, I don't necessarily think he was in the wrong for anything that he did. Like, so I don't think that... I, while you were... <clears throat> I read a Kotaku article, like, in a hot second yeah. while you were talking it, about, about Owen um, and what happened. Yeah, I don't so, know specifics on Owen's stuff. So um, I will say that 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 clearly has a, an effect on my argument right here. i'm not gonna throw any dirt like it, it's an online article it's it's right out there um <clears throat> so essentially what happened and you know bullet points here um owen was like owen was accused of uh harassing women um like via text um uh making them uncomfortable like in social settings mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. um women who he's either like met through magic or had a romantic relationship with and mm-hmm. everyone became involved in magic whatever it was they were prominent not prominent but they were members enough in the magic community that it mattered um and as so often as it happens one woman stepped up and said hey this is a thing that's happening yeah. oh yeah S- some authority figure sure um I want you to be aware of it because I think this is uh, this is a problem. Yeah. And then other women were like, uh, yeah, that. Yeah. And it escalated. Correct. As it, as it should. I mean, Correct. people. Should. So um, <clears throat> and I'm not going to get into specifics, nitty gritties. If you want, it's out there again. Kotaku wrote an article about it um, and Kotaku, you know, have your own opinions, whatever they fuck it, whatever it's, it's out there. Um, <laughs> there was like enough evidence for wizards again this dude just won seventy five thousand yeah, dollars at a tournament yeah. in 2017 so like just he is a great player he's good for the game yeah and that's just objectively that's like no opinion whatsoever um they pulled him from the tournament because there's enough stuff out there to say that like dude is a problem yeah like harassment definitely bordering on predatory maybe yeah i'm not gonna speculate any further about that so but but those that's enough for me oh yeah i'm gonna be honest absolutely Um, he's in the wrong on that if that is i mean assuming that's the 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 correct thing that's definitely wrong so i think it's really tough for reed to like see your friend because i mean you gotta and this is i'm not like sympathizing with a predator but let me just say To see your friend, if anything, let me sympathize with Reed. You see your friend get publicly humiliated. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is his, for lack of a better, like, this is his job, basically. Oh, yeah, he made a living off of this. It definitely is. Um, so his livelihood's, like, in jeopardy. Uh, he's been publicly humiliated and shamed. Um, he could be facing legal issues. Like, to mm-hmm. see somebody that you care about, that you you believe, whether it's true or not, you believe is a good person and can do good things and is capable of making the world better. Mm-hmm. To see someone go through all that 
is very difficult. Yeah. I understand I've been there. Yeah. However, um, it, it like is really hard because you can't always excuse the actions. No, you can't. If it's a pattern, especially, that's a problem. Yeah. Um, you know, whatever the struggles were that Owen had personally, like mm-hmm. health wise, substance wise, whatever it is, like that's uh that's tragic, but none of those are excuses and that behavior is like I mean it's a problem. Yeah, it's just wrong. I mean it for sure for is. sure for sure. So I I understand knee reads like knee jerk reaction to say like mm-hmm. publicly, hey, like don't like don't bust out the guillotine just yet. Yeah. Um I understand that, but I don't think that that was right necessarily. I think it's okay to have those feelings, but it's very important not to make victims of those kinds of crimes feel yeah. Yeah. alienated or or make them quiet sure. or like you know, it's important that those people, survivors and folks like that like get their story out there. Yes. Whoever they are. Absolutely, so, yes. No, so, I- blah blah blah. All that being said, what the fuck is up with the snack situation in this podcast? Can we get some Cheetos in this motherfucker? <laughs> Baby, I got a hankering for some saturated fat. I need it in my little tummy tum tum tum. I don't have any food here. <sighs> Not in this room. God. Kevin, what are some things you liked about magic this year that didn't that didn't touch anybody? Yeah. What are some things that Jesus. you liked about magic? Uh, okay, so honestly, a lot of good things came out of magic, I think, this year. Um. What a 10 out of 10 segue. Yeah, from... wasn't that great? Um, what the fuck good happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, All right. Um yeah, what did you like about so, Magic? Help me. Save this show. Yeah, save this show. Uh, Product-wise, we yeah. had some good sets. Come out of this we year. really did. We, we actually really did, did have some good sets. Favorite set this year. Hit me. Uh, I really on enjoyed... Three, on three, on three, on three. One, okay. two, three. War of the, the Bell Drain. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> um, I actually really liked War of the Spark for a lot of reasons. Yeah. Um, Throne of Eldraine, I actually do really like quite a lot uh-huh. as well for the theme. And like, there are some very interesting specific cards in it. Yeah, I don't enjoy the limited environment of Throne very often. I've That's talked about that before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's it's we're fine. There. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just a different. It's yeah, a much there. slower format. That we're kind there. of thing. I think it rewarded preparation more than other limited formats. Have, I definitely but, think that's the case. Um, but anyway. it's a fun one. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to discourage people from playing it. But I really enjoyed War of the Spark. Um, I love the Planeswalker push. I thought that was so fun. That was really creative. Um, on R&D, it was creative. Like right? we got uncommon Planeswalkers out of it. We got some yeah. really really interesting Planeswalkers with static abilities out of it, which yeah. was not a thing prior. Um, we did some really interesting stuff with that set and like I it also was a big conclusion obviously to this story which I'm kind of just happy that story's over yeah that story went on they killed the wrong guy though yeah yeah kind of you know who it should have been I know who it probably I think I know who you're gonna say I should kill Jace yeah okay that's who I thought yeah they probably he's the should've. only planeswalker anyone gives a shit about yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, thematically, I guess, like, the way Gideon dies and all that stuff, like, I'm, like, cool, that fits into his character, but Jay yeah. should have died. Like, definitely they should have gotten rid like, of Like, marketing should have made the effort to kill Jace, I think. Yeah. Like, I get that if I'm a storyteller, Gideon makes more sense, but, like, yeah. no one gives a fuck about Gideon. That's why it was a safe kill. <laughs> Right, that's I mean, the let's thing. be honest. It Why was a play safe it bet. fucking safe? We're still gonna buy your because cards. Wizards, kill Jace, like, dude. They make safe decisions all the you time. You know what that gives you? You know what that gives you? An opportunity to make a new blue planeswalker who's yeah. mono blue one yeah. who can do more shit. Yeah, that's like not mill or yeah. draw one card and scry or some shit. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, well, they I had the Tamio Jason. for a short time. Well, right, but OG ta- Tamio, uh, Tamio was, was cool. Blue. Yeah, I like Tamio actually, um, and even Field Researcher Tamio is pretty sweet. Bant Tamio, she's good. Cool. She's fine. Um, Tezzeret was OG blue, right? Um, D- turned now, blue black. He's good. Tezzy, Tezzy's, Tezzy's good. Yeah. I love Tezzeret. Oh, he's very nice. Um, yeah. But there are enough Jaces that are just kind of like meh. They su- like okay. There is one really amazing Jace. There's another. Very good, Jace. Who's that one? Vryn's Prodigy. 
Well, I would argue there's there's a third. Which one are you thinking of? Um, he's he's the five mana Jace, the mil ten on zero. Oh, memory adept. Yeah, I think memory he's good. adept's fine, but it's very niche. I will say. So the what I mean by that is like specifically Jace, uh, mind sculptor, obviously. Well, yeah, best Jace, no doubt about it. He's just yeah. good in like any given situation. He's a game ender for certain decks for yep. sure um so he's your win he does everything you need him to do he he's can got win. four crazy abilities it's like there it's are kind few of planeswalkers who can win without ults and yes but he's one but of them. he is one right. of them he can lock somebody out him karn ugin like yeah there's a few that are just like really high tier up there that's probably <clears throat> it right um lily's like great value lily's but i don't good think value, she wins but she your doesn't game lock you necessarily out, no. right i don't think so i think um, she can set you up but she like, she's certainly not... gets you there but I don't think she's like mm-hmm. single handedly a reason to win. Um, all that being said, Jace Mind Sculptor, 100% the best Jace there ever has been. Sure. Vrint's Prodigy, I would say, is probably second best. Yeah, but funny, not for its Planeswalker side. Like, yeah, like his Planeswalker side's good, it's but okay. it's really the loot. Like, yeah. And it's the long term value of maybe being able to flip it and that kind of a thing. Sure. Like, he's also just popular in a lot of formats uh, That's because fair. he's usable in a lot of formats, which yeah. is interesting um but i i do think his planeswalker side has a lot of value it does and I, but i think if you flip him it's like well he already really did what i wanted him to do he did so what now you I wanted him cool to do walker. and this is why he's so good he already does what you want him to do regardless right. you put him if in for you that flip thing. him it's like shit now i can flashback a million sp- like do whatever right. i want and i think the threat of that is what causes and yeah. like opponents to be like shit i gotta kill jace like yeah for he's sure. gotta die yeah um he's very easy to kill because he's like an o2 but you know yeah it dies to push dies to any kind of burn yeah, i mean like, any dies to everything. any removal spell is gonna deal with yeah, him yeah, yeah, but yeah. he i would argue is probably the second best jace um sure i think memory adapts probably the third best but i think that there's a pretty large gap between so Brent it's Prodigy him and, and like memory adapt who is it architect architect of thought yeah i think they're kind of like like architect of thought was really good in that standard environment yeah it was great in standard that's fair but that's kind of it like he doesn't see play anywhere else except for commander obviously but he is just kind of too so well but to that end neither does memory adept exactly so. that's my point between there's a huge gap between like Bren's prodigy and memory adept which i would argue is the third best um, yeah, I think it's kind of close between Architect of Thought and Memory Adept, but Memory Adept is so good in the mill strategy that it's right. like ridiculous. That's the thing. Um, yeah, but like there are so many shitty Jaces out there. <laughs> like there are yeah. a Bellerin. lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, but in all honesty, I don't think Bellerin is that bad because he's three mana. Um, I mean, okay, because he he's draws cheap. you cards and things he's like cheap. that. He's gains his value pretty quick, but like he's not amazing. He kind of just is card draw, right. Um, right. which I think is fine because he is three mana. But it's mm-hmm. like you know, um, the shadows over Innistrad one, unravel uh, unraveler of secrets or whatever. Oh yeah, absolute garbage. Right. Um, the new one from War of the Spark is fine in a self mill strategy, but like we have lab maniac for that and like yeah. non-standard formats um and then there's uh boat jace but jace is a pirate oh god i forgot about that yeah um so i mean yeah there's the combo where you can like create an infinite tutus cool it's not that exciting um uh-huh. <laughs> we all thought it was exciting at that time <laughs> well we all thought that you'd break it way easier it takes a little bit more it than... takes a lot more setup than we thought right. um so yeah, there's not a ton of there's like a couple good Jaces and then the rest are shit. Like is the takeaway. Yeah. And so it would be nice to like get rid of Jace, get rid of the flagship guy. Let's get some new blood in. Just but saying. Yeah. It didn't happen. Um instead we got Oko. <laughs> Which went so well. <laughs> like Yeah. Just now banned in like Pioneer. Up, I was gonna say, we're gonna talk about that. I mean, we weren't gonna because this is a reminiscing episode where we talked about everything but reminiscing. But well, here let's just reminisce about one sec. Yeah, uh, all the terrible things that happened in the last three months of Magic. God, just Oko. It starts with O and rhymes with. It's it's the start. It's Oko Puffs. It's your favorite breakfast cereal <laughs> that's giving you cancer. I like that you just started over. <laughs> You were like, I don't have anything that rhymes, so Oko Puffs. You just, you just got to be able to hop from like, track nope. to track, buddy. I'm out. It's like, you just got to be able to jump from lane to lane. I'm playing Frogger with my with my jokes here, dude. Did with I my Frogger laughs. at a bar the other day? It was fun. Did you go to a bar No. 
Did you go to... Oh, it's a player one up. That's it. Player one up. So there are two game bars where we live near Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, and also the South Carolinian city that, yeah. we, um, that rock thrills. Woo. It's uh, Player One Up and Abari are great. I've never been to Abari. Bari's dope. To one it's up. got a very cool arcade game called Killer Queen. It's oh. one of the newest arcade games. It's okay. got kind of a cult following. There's a tournament. I know a lot of good peeps over there. We go All and right. smash buttons a little bit. Okay. If you play Killer Queen, shout outs to you. It's a great game. It's very fun. <laughs> um, you need like minimum two people, but really it's like an eight person game. Oh my god. It's huge. It's a huge cab. It's lots of fun. That's cool though. That's a story for another time. Yeah, it's yeah. very neat. You should check it out. Yeah. Um anyway, what were we talking about? Uh Oko. Okay. Help. Oko sucks. Help. <laughs> Oko sucks. Uh yeah, so latest pioneer bands. What did you think? They took out like all the green stuff. They I don't just, like, remember what else was that. taken out of the Once upon Oko. a time. Oko, Field uh, of the Dead, and one other card that's pesky that's Field of the Dead me. was taken? Correct. I guess that makes Correct. sense. Oh, Smuggler's Copter is banned. Uh, that's probably good. Yeah. Mono Black decks were kind of just like shrecking the early game, and if yeah. you didn't have a plan to stop well, them. Smuggler's Copter is like a safe ban because it goes into anything. So it's like you're not, I mean, you're nerfing. I love that that is our fallback argument for stuff. Well, I mean, it it's a safe everything. I'm, I'm just saying, like, it does. It's a safe ban, though? It's a, yeah, I would say so because like That's you fine. don't necessarily nerf a deck. You like, oh, I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm with like, you now. I'm with you now. I'm, I'm saying like in comparison to a card like Field of the Dead, which mm -hmm. very clearly nerfs Scape Shift. Like you're yeah. done. You don't get Scape Shift now. I mean, you could, but it's not going to be nearly as good. Like okay, that very easily nerfs that deck. Whereas Smuggler's Copter is just a good value card in any deck. Sure. It doesn't necessarily have synergy with a ton of decks. It's just a good value card. So, yeah. like, yeah, it is a safe band because now no deck can play it. But you got to replace it with something. If Mono Black Devotion wants to do something else, find another two drop. Like, cool. That's fine. Like, that's yeah. not difficult to do. I'm with you there. You know what I'm, I'm saying? So, like, yeah, it's that's a super safe band. Good um, band. Good band. Good band. And yeah, I would think I think that is a good band because Smuggler's Copter is kind of a ridiculous card. Um, yeah. Field of the Dead. I guess it's for the best. I don't know the Pioneer format super well at the moment. I'll be honest. So I don't know. Uh, Once Upon a Time. I fuck. Get that card out of any format. I know you hate Once fuck Upon it. a Time. I love it as a card. I think it's very yeah. OP. Um, yeah. Well, okay. But it was a bit weird on the onset, I will say. When they first spoiled it, everybody was like, yeah, this is going to be OP. And then it, the set came out and we started playing with it. Yeah. But, like, that was right before the, like, food decks took over. Right. And so, like, nobody thought it was, like, incredible. People were playing it, but yeah. they were like, it's hit or miss. Like, it's not amazing. Well, yeah. I think we, we <laughs> were, we started flirting with the, what became the oppressive deck a little yeah. bit there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, we weren't totally sure how much green stuff we could stick in one deck and still right. win. Because yeah, yeah. in the past, remember, it was, like, zero to four cards in your deck yeah. have to be green for you to be good and competitive. yeah, yeah. And it was like collected companies, your four, your four green slots, and that's all you get. But now it was like, well, damn, I can just put thirty six green cards in my deck, yeah. and I like am good. Yeah, I'm like, I want to turn. It just adds too much consistency. Correct, that's all it is. correct, correct. Um, so uh, it was like Pioneer's Ancient Stirrings. Yeah, in a weird way. It's better than Ancient Stirrings. Yeah, in, well, in, yeah, it is. Yeah, I guess so. For sure, one hundred percent. It's free. One. Once. No. If it's, it's the first spell once. you cast this turn, right? That game. Is it that game? Yeah. That's nah, still better. I mean, it's good. It's better if I can the cast first time. Two, if I can cast two spells turn one, bare minimum, Yeah. that's pretty fucking good. Yeah. I mean, it definitely is. I, I, I'm i a little skeptical on saying it's better than Ancient Stirrings. I don't know in if that's Pioneer? 100%. Come on. In Pioneer, Ancient Stirrings I mean, isn't legal. Isn't in Pioneer, <laughs> but like, honestly, though. I mean, like, okay, the power so level in of Modern. Because like, think about this. One Modern deck is Ancient Stirrings. That's like, good. You can play it in other decks. I mean, decks. Tron gets it. Yeah, right. that's the big one. But And that's it. Yes. What I don't know for it? sure. I, I don't know. Okay, Hard there have decks, been, maybe. There have been decks that have like, played with it, but it's just kind of like, it's it's not peak efficiency for other decks. Tron loves it. Okay. Tron loves it. I mean, yeah, Tron loves it. And Tron I'm is not just, disagreeing with Tron that. is just a great deck. Yeah, but if it's you ridiculous. Take, if you take Tron out of the equation, how good is Ancient Stirrings actually? 
I think it still makes some other decks viable. I don't think it makes them oppressive. That's the thing. Is like it makes them okay, but like so what decks does Gruel Agro make oppressive in modern? Wait, what? We're talking about modern. No, they banned No, we're not. No. So you I must, mean, we're you comparing ancient stirrings to Once Upon a Time. We're the only it. format where they're both legal is modern. Well, I mean, that's not other I'm, formats. What but I said was ancient stirrings like, is better or is worse than Once Upon a Time. That's what she said. Yeah, Once Upon a Time is way more powerful in Pioneer than ancient stirrings is in modern. Okay, I see what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Okay, it's like way better to ban Once Upon a Time because it's a better card in that format. In yes. modern, in modern. I, I don't think. Okay, you know. so we're on that. Then yes, does I that agree make with more you. sense? Yeah, with yeah, me? that makes more this, sense. I was know? thinking you were just outright saying Once Upon a Time is a better card overall than Ancient Stories. No, uh, I don't necessarily know that that's true. I agree I with think you. That there's like maybe, but like I don't. I don't know for yeah, sure. There's a lot of that's a lot data of that's that you would need to go through. But right, like, right, right. I see what you're saying. Does yeah. that make more sense? Yeah, yeah. Because Once Upon a Time hits more decks in exactly. Pioneer exactly um yeah yeah i and see it's what you're way saying. scarier but um, now it doesn't hit any decks because yeah. it's gone um oko right. being gone i'm fine with uh yeah, that card just never should have been made honestly yeah, it's kind of ridiculous what a fun fucking evil card yeah it is an evil card it's sort of like the leovold of this set you know what i mean like leovold came out yeah and everybody was just like, man, let's break this card. And then it got banned every fucking way. It was <laughs> just like, was like nope. please don't. We, <laughs> we tried something. There, it was it's, so bad they like, banned it in Commander. Leovold, uh, they're like, broken cards are the bad haircuts of, of <laughs> magic. Like they come home, r like, hey, community, <laughs> you're going to want to see this. <laughs> oh, it's a Commander prison. Yeah. Because everybody don't hate loves it. that. I don't know if like, and because it would have been, I, I'll I'll give them the benefit of the doubt in play yeah. design because they probably didn't really think too much about saying like I'm gonna put Teferi's puzzle box with this, you know, Leovold. I don't know. Maybe they should have. I don't know if around that know. time though they had they didn't have the play test team that they have now. They had a play they test didn't, team. They didn't, and I'm I don't. Sure I'm gonna be the, honest. I doubt they play test commander because think no, about the variables what, there. Yeah, exactly. Like, like there's way too much. They're how, the as card many pool is stupid crazy. fucking combos as we have in yeah. commander. Like, yeah. there's just one of those things yeah. where you just like we're gonna put a card out there. We'll see what happens. If we need to do anything, we'll do anything. Like yeah. it's that kind of a mentality. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, so yeah, like yeah, yeah. The when they West. put Teferi's puzzle box though with Leopold, it was just like. All right, you can't play. And it's right. Like, Fuck That's me. the worst. You have literally it's your upkeep step. That was done. That was it. Yep. Like if you got an instant that could deal with it, you're good. But if not, you just lose your And turn. what I love is that there is technically an out. Yeah, that's my thing <laughs> like, though. Is like it kept him, it kept an opponent right. hanging on, it's which the is worst. such an asshole yeah, thing yeah, yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah. Which is why I loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I did actually watch an episode of the Star City Games versus series where they did the band commanders and Leovold yep. was one of them. It was Leovold, Emrakul, uh, Braids, uh, the Black Braids, which is like insane. You like it's basically a smokestack deck. So you everybody oh. has to sacrifice permanence. But right. because you have like Crucible of Worlds in your deck and like stuff like that, like doesn't matter for you. <laughs> And so it's ridiculous. And then some like Kamigawa card, I don't remember what it is, but it counters the first spell every turn. And it's ridiculous. The first spell an, op an opponent plays on each turn is countered. Like that's wow. its thing. And I'm like, shit, like that's ridiculous. And it was such a not fun game to watch because Emrakul yeah. eventually just like took over. Because <laughs> like, it's Emrakul. If you have anything with Annihilator. Yeah, I mean. Fuck just... Annihilator. Honestly, yeah, what a crazy mechanic. Fuck it. The That's 1550 ridiculous. indestructible flying trampler wasn't enough. <laughs> you have to and make... take an extra turn. Right. Sorry. Sorry. It's Can't also be time countered. Lock. Right, has protection from instance, or is that the other? Uh, I think that's the other one, but I don't know for sure. Is one pro everything? What's pro everything? Uh, pro everything is progenitus. That's right. Uh, also, you can get pro protection from a player on true name nemesis, which is also pretty ridiculous. That's fair. But There's a lot of weird protection shit out there. Yeah, but it is just a 3-1 at the end of the day. I mean, yeah, but like if you can't do anything about this 3-1, then all of a sudden... I mean, like, great. this is coming from the dude that kicked your Voltron butt. Voltron strategy, go. <laughs> like, That's fair. Equip a sword, done. Also, I picked up a couple Umazawi's Jite. 
I'm excited about that card. Nice. Um, I got a few cards for the cube that I'm excited about. For that shape game. Well, we talked about upping it to 540. Cube. No, I'm with you. So I'm, I, I I'm feel all on like board. I need to get some new cards. Shoot you, Thomas. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> things we're excited about in 2020. Go. Um. Mm, new Zendikar set. New Whoa! Zendikar set. Zendikar Rising. What? I'm actually pretty excited More about full it. art? Yeah, probably. question mark. I mean, they better. Yeah, 100%. why would they not? They have to at this point. I will. Um, I will be. I will take to Reddit like a maniac. If not, that's like the best I can threaten them with. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, I like Zendikar. I don't think the last Zendikar set was amazing. It was fine. Yeah, it was, it was fine. fine. But like, my hope is that they they up their game this time. Um, Interested to see what happens. Did the squid people win? right did the allies pull it out yeah. i don't know because i don't read those fucking awful books dude okay worst thing of 2019 that forsaken novel <laughs> we just need to make a parody forsaken novel yeah, honestly yeah, yeah. like let's fix a few things but let's really put our spin on it here okay <laughs> yeah so like we let's respect the the author's original intent sure clearly a johnny's trying to go for like that millennial vibe yeah totally. right relation what did he say a a girl a girl right yeah let's have a johnny be just like the hype man for everything so <laughs> like let's have, over there let's have <laughs> what's who's the which one are they chandra and uh yeah. her girlfriend whichever's the right choice Nissa. <laughs> whichever's the right they do something fantastic <laughs> and they just like in the back of johnny's just a little like bit. a girl no 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 no, the... no no here's the thing it's yeah. gotta be different every time oh okay like uh they do that. Yeah. A Johnny in the background just yells his Leonin roar. Hashtag bagels. <laughs> <laughs> and then who's a dumb, dumb planeswalker? Karn, because he doesn't know many words, yeah. like pops up with a bunch of old bread and goes, did someone say bagels? <laughs> but then Johnny has to explain to Karn, no, B-A-E, goals like soccer goals. Yeah. Oh, I see. And there's that's a whole exchange we can have. That joke landed very well. Um, let's have uh, <laughs> fuck it. Let's have Gideon not die. Oh, okay. Um, instead, can he just go hardcore the other way? Can he be like super? Yeah, evil? let's make Gideon g- gay. Can he be like the oh, whole time be the right. secret agent for Bolus? He rips off his rubber mask. It's just Tezzeret. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> and then they all look at Tezzeret and they goes, "What?" <laughs> And Tezzeret... He pulls off a mask and it's the lighthouse owner and he's just like, I would have gotten away with it too. (laughs) 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 Uh, The one Chinese walker and his dog's like... (laughs) (laughs) This episode is so ridiculous. Oh, man. This is Um, a fun one. We are going to spoof that book and make it better. Yeah. Uh, It'd be more entertaining. Fuck you, bud. I'm that sorry. That's sucks. a little too aggressive, yeah, that's Greg. Too aggressive, um, but can I just say bad. you wrote a bad book and like you not be hurt by it? <laughs> I feel bad hurting. That's yourself. my goal. I just want to like be able to critique people, but not have them be demoralized entirely. Okay, but somebody who is open-minded should be available for critique. But I'm gonna no make one, an argument. But no one is though. No, they should be. Are we are we arguing for like the uh, picturesque world of possibility or like practical application? Here? Okay, in an idealistic world, yeah. everybody would be available for critique. I agree, regardless of whether if it as long as it's presented in the correct way. Yeah, okay, but that's not how that's, it works. Che it's Guevara. a two part thing. Like, no, but I'm just saying. Can I'm you not... respect my communist joke for a second? <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> Finally, all that I'm Che Guevara saying, stuff. I'm deal it. I'm idealistic. I'm saying. You know, if critiques come up, you got to be open to it. No, I agree to some extent, depending on the critique. As long as it's presented in a correct way. But who but says... Who is I, who am I to say says, it's correct? Thank you. Thank you. We're in philosophy at this point. <laughs> and next week, we'll be discussing Platonia, platonic ethics. Um, oh, good. Not like... Because Plato was a philosopher, and he had his whole... Yeah. Wait, I guess he didn't do ethics. He just did, like... No, he did some. He did ethics a little bit. No, I think Socrates did. Plato just did, like, numbers and shit. Oh. He was like, you know what's real good geometry? We should make a religion. And then a bunch of people were like, yeah, and everyone else was like, what? Math? Which is how religion mostly goes. As fair as that is. Mm. Um, good point. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. I was trying to be obtuse for a moment. Yeah. A. Um, but then I was like, <laughs> geometry mm, joke. You know like what? It. No, you're right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah, no, it's usually a polarizing topic. Hence the world we live in. Why don't you show me what's in that little pack of yours, Kev? Guys. Where'd we get these cards, buddy? We got these cards from Grand Slam. Comics and collectibles. Honestly, though, okay, as an end of the year thing, a huge thank you to Grand Slam. They've been with us for a long fucking time. I guess since the start. It's been Basically, pretty early honestly. on. I mean, I think we went for a little fashion. way. Yeah. Oh, shit. Um, but without them, we would not be able to do All this. All right, so I want Oak of Thief of Crowns here. right here, right now, baby. I got not what Castle I got. Ardenvale. I got Stormfist Crusader. Definitely the pick. Uh, yeah, 100%. Yeah. That card's 100%. crazy. There's good. also a Searing Barrage, which is great. However, Stormfist Crusader gives me my direction, my colors, a Menace 2 2 fella, and, like, you know, she does stuff. I got Merrileaf Pixie and Spinning bad. Wheel. My rare was Castle Ardenvale, which isn't very exciting as a first Not pick. Not unlimited. It's okay, but it's not great. I think I take the Pixie. Uh, yeah, the Spinning I'm Wheel is much more of an open card, and it kind of does more. I don't know. I could kind of go either way. The Pixie's just a creature, and it's a flyer, so it's like there's you know utility there. Agreed. Um, so I think I go Pixie. Agreed. I'm with you there. I like the Stormfrost Crusader though. That's pretty great. I do too. I like um, Black Red Knights. Rakdos Knights is fun. Rakdos is sweet. Um. Anyway, uh, anything else that you want to talk about? Hmm. Exciting stuff that you're looking forward to in 2020. Um. <clears throat> No, but I do have a goal. Oh, please tell. Um, we're gonna play a th- like minimum, mm. minimum twelve hundred games of StarCraft in twenty twenty. Why do I? I'm not a part of this. You should be. I Kevin. don't want to be a part of this. God damn it, you should be. I have so an addiction much. to magic. I can't afford another addiction. It's free to play, you dummy. I can't afford the time. Time is money. Kevin, I say as a old school how? individual many hours a day do you spend actually playing magic playing magic not enough sorting magic pretty regular all right however you like organizing stuff man? <laughs> stop don't don't sell me on this we've talked about this i kevin, can't do it kevin 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 before i'm let's here we go are we what are we doing before I'm 27, Kevin. How old are you? How old am I? Great question. I'm about to be 27, so. Are you really for real? February. On yeah. the dot. Oh fuck. You got a birthday present planned? Um. Well, I have a Christmas present. I can get you. <laughs> oh fuck yeah! I got a birthday present planned. <laughs> All will be revealed in like five plus years when I've given you all of these presents. Oh my god, no. It's happening. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm going to be a fucking grandmaster. Okay. I swear to you. I would really like that you spend your time creating content for it results. Yeah, but here's the thing. <laughs> it's it's really like... I'm not asking for much. 30 minutes a week. I will make you one video. I'm just saying you did really well for a week. And... I'm calling you out a little bit. Listen... If I, I'm I'm tickling diamond, I'm just grabbing it by the nuts and just giving it a little. <laughs> blue, 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 blue. Oh, hey, diamond, I'm coming, baby. You know what's after diamond? Masters. Kevin, you know what's after that? The peak, the pinnacle. You want to be Starcraft Two Grandmaster? You never gonna be Starcraft Two Grandmaster. <laughs> Don't reference Day Nine. <laughs> Fuck you. Why? He's, he's I love Day Nine. The actually. hero in our I really hearts. love Day Nine. <laughs> Uh, his uh his so what the deck close. series is so fun to watch j great great i watched great dude. the him, him versus noxious uh today in fact and it was great oh he played noxious That's yeah cool. he normally plays noxious, I like noxious. sometimes it's Brian. noxious kind of gets a little too salty for my taste i like yeah, merchant I a feel lot that. and i like day nine a lot too because day nine like day nine's just like super there's chill a realm of creators that i try to aspire to be who like never get tilted about things yes and like he is one of them my my favorite content creator ever neuro i'm gonna plug him do it yeah he's a starcraft youtuber but it's fine he's like the gandhi of content creators yeah in that he's like very calm about 
most everything, mm. especially when he streams, especially when he makes videos. He's just very pragmatic and like grounded about how he goes about things, right? And I think that that's the way to do it, right? Yeah, like, that's great. So whenever he's losing, he's like, mm, "I lost." It's probably for a couple of reasons, but my opponent definitely beat me. He deserved <laughs> that win. I can probably improve. Let's move on. That's my and that's okay. it. So relating this back to magic and our discussion earlier that's Oof. my that's why i like reed duke maybe that's our 2020 <clears throat> goal <laughs> yeah i get very tilted when i get on a losing here's streak. the thing because i i listened to some buddhist content today oh cool we define our self-worth often with our success and our emotions attached to that success however success and emotions are like a flowing river <laughs> Thusly or never in one spot at any one time. How can you say that you are your success when that success tomorrow is different? Can you be a different thing every day? If so, where is your identity? Perhaps, rather, it is not grounded in what you are in the moment, but what you aspire to be. Let us pray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to pray. Um... No, I don't either, but, however... <laughs> I paraphrase all of that. How smooth was that? That was little... really smooth. I thought you were like memorizing no. that. I thought that was just like. Dude, it came from my understanding of the self. Nay, my desire <laughs> for understanding of the self. Then how come you still get tilted? <laughs> because you're a fucking little shit, Kevin Lipsy. <laughs> I'm going to storm off on turn two. Sorry, you wanted to play your super cool deck that you drafted. At least I did it early. <laughs> Snap free! Tendrils. Did you say snap freeze? Freeze snap. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Brain bolt. Brain blast. Oh, I picked up Talarian Academy too. I picked up a lot of great cards. Fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. That's cool. No, that's just a good card. Yeah. No. Um, we need to go through the new cards I picked up. Um, this is a long episode. This is a long episode. This is just a silly episode. We just well, it didn't. About it didn't. The middle is like, so we're kind of like a serious sandwich right now. Yeah, weirdly. We bit into some real heavy stuff. Yeah. Um, And then... Oh, D William Huey Jensen came out this year, I think. So that was cool. Is he gay? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I think he came out this year. It might have been last year. I mean, good for him if he... I, I didn't know. That's cool. Go for him. Yeah. That's that's uh, the thing that cool. happened. Anyway, yeah. um, RIP the Peach Garden Oath. I guess there's an opening. <laughs> <I was gonna... laughs> Damn. <laughs> Was that insensitive? No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I think we're going to end this episode. That's probably wise. <laughs> and we're going to end 2019 on this one, guys. Thank you oh, seriously man. to everybody who uh, made 2019 such a great success. If you made it this far in this episode without blanching Nobody at least once. Nobody ever makes it to this point. Don't, I have you to You don't imagine. know. If you make it this far. I can know. You know what? I can look it up. If you make it this far, mail me a letter. Oh. What's your address? Go no, ahead. No, you are know you, what? I just, I just ran willing? that back. Oh, you know what? If you made it this far, send me a text. 803-645-1335. Is that your actual phone number? Yeah. I don't know of it. 100%. Just send me, send me a, a winky face. I don't need... To, oh, I'm really into this. Or give me no context and tell me your favorite magic card. That'll okay, be a fun so one. here's my practical joke of the end of the year. What I really want to do... Yeah. Is get a fake phone number and text like, you. Yeah, just, they're burners. Yeah, just burner phones. Yeah. Get like 20 of them. Yeah. And just like hype you up and be like, dude, that episode was amazing and all this stuff. And then we look at the analytics and it's like 10 people watched it. So, hey, I don't thank you. I, I don't know. What a laugher, dude. Huh. It's such a classic bucket on the door trick. Fuck you, you ass. Man. Where'd you find that whoopee cushion there, buddy? Was it in a is it was in a store of used jokes? It's a little worn I'm out. Turn your mic down. <laughs> <laughs> All I right, can guys. Eject like a bitch. <laughs> We're gonna get out of here. Thank you guys seriously for making 2019 a success. We, a success. <laughs> And too much, rolling. Scott. Just keep rolling. We're really, really happy to have you guys as part of our community. Hell yeah. We are very, very excited for 2020. <laughs> I don't know specifically when we'll be back. We will be back. 2020. I mean, 2020, but it'll probably be after New Year's. So yeah. um, thank January, you guys, though. though. Seriously, we really do appreciate it. With yeah. that, though, we are going to get out of here. My name is Kevin. My name's Will. And thank you for making 2019 amazing.
say goodbye to the last year of imperfect vision. Next year, 2020, baby. I had nothing else prepared for that. I mean, you know, Fuck. you didn't stop it. <laughs> you wrong monitor, dipshit. Press the space bar, you trog.